Hello everybody and welcome to day two of the Alliance Summit in my time at Sandrock. And my parents said they'd be arriving this morning. I'd better go pick them up at the station. After that, there's the summit announcement meeting to attend. Sorry, buddy. Nothing oh, for you wow, again. This air is dry. <laughs> I can see where I got my purple hair from. I'm guessing they colour the pop's hair to be whatever um, you make your builder's hair to be. <laughs> buddy takes after his grandpa. <laughs> We're here! Hey, Mom! Look at you. You look so mature and professional and... You look really young. Did you grow an inch? <laughs> Might be the shoes. Maybe it's the shoes. We've got so much to tell you about. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. Let's get our bags to the hotel, huh? Oh! Is that Mayor Trudy? Yes, but kind of behind someone else. That was a fail of a cutscene. Mayor Trudy, we meet at last. Let me just say, it has been not just an honor, but an absolute delight to have your child here in Sandrock. You could have just saved our town and we'd have been eternally grateful. But you just had to go the extra mile and be a wonderful person while doing it. Sounds par for the course. Oh. You hear that? Oh, I'm so proud of what you've done here. Proud of you, too. Oh, I brought you a Yakmel milk, as discussed. This is the real fresh stuff. The exported kind is good, but... Oh, just try it for yourself. You take it cold, yes? Yes. Well, I learned to drink it cold. When you were a baby, as a matter of fact. You know, Trudy. Heat up your Yakmel milk, chase the kid around, come back to find it cold. Oh, so Yakmel milk is now tea. Yakmel milk is like, it's like psychic paper. It's whatever you want it to be. Oh, <laughs> so true. <laughs> Jasmine got me the same way. I prefer mine hot. Uh, do you have another? Oh, uh, I don't, but, well, let's run over to the Blue Moon and get a hot Yakmel milk. Let's do that and get rid of this person. Husband. That sounds lovely. There's so much to see here. When the celebrations are over, I want you to show us everything. I hate to tear you away from your folks like this, but they actually sent me to come get you. Do you mind running over to Martel Square to check in with General Ling? We'll be right behind you. Oh, we don't want to keep you from something important, dear. Pa, let's get our bags to the Blue Moon. Thanks for meeting us at the station. Looks like they want you to get to that meeting. Don't worry, you can introduce us to everyone later. And I agree with your ma. I want to see all the things you've done here too. We really missed you, but I can see already how important coming here was for you. Even the way you stand, you're more confident now. Of course, I wasn't crazy about all that Dubo stuff, but things are safe now. We'll visit more often. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm starting to sound like that guy you told us about. Uh, Cooper? Well, go ahead. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Love you. See you in the square. Okay. Mom and Pa are here. Welcome. Oh, they Welcome. Me. Lovely. Okay, so it's me, Mort, and Zeke. Interesting. Uh, yeah. We weren't going to miss this. Do you need something of us? I am pleased to inform you that you all are guests of honor. I wanted to make sure personally that you were here before speeches begin. That's kind of you. Thank you, sir. Of course, of course. Please, this way. Okay. Did we miss anything? Shh, it's starting. Friends, citizens, people of the free cities, welcome to the Alliance Quinquennial Summit. So Vega 5, Tall Sky, and the Admiral. It has been an honor already for our humble city to host this event thus far. I've heard only great things about our speakers. 
Let's have a round of applause for all of our fabulous volunteers. My talk went overtime. And now, it is with great pleasure, I inform all of you the results of our first day of talks. It is clear to us all that the Duvos Empire is posing an ever greater threat to our great alliance. First, the attack on Sandrock. Then, the rogue knight in Portia. And finally, the aggression toward our friends in Athea up north. This cannot stand. Various solutions have been proposed, some of which will be drafted and voted upon as policy in the near future. We have also agreed that bolstering the northern settlements bordering the Duvos conquered Athean territory and developing a more interconnected alliance economy are keys to our security. Questions remain, however, as to how exactly this will be carried out. We'll need much more capital investment and capacity if we're to succeed in our plans. Some delegates even brought up the possibility of unifying the taxes and economy planning of the free cities. But so far, that's not on the agenda, as we all do value our independence. But one thing we were able to unanimously agree upon is that what happened here in Sandrock over the last few years is nothing short of a miracle. And for that reason, the Summit Delegates have taken it upon themselves to personally thank some of the key players in making our town into what it is today. We have prepared a few awards for some of the outstanding citizens of Sandrock. Okay. Uh, ahem. First off, I would like to call forward my friend and longtime colleague, Zeke. Uh. Oh, he's so Come confused. on up here, Zeke. You deserve this. Mr. Zeke. After learning your story, our delegates, as well as the other researchers of Vega-5, were absolutely blown away. Many of our scientists are known for having their heads in the clouds, looking to replicate old world technology. Ironically, Sandrock is now not being blown away. <laughs> but you used your brilliant mind and incredible tenacity right here on the ground, making our free cities a better and more sustainable place for all of us to live. For these reasons and more, on behalf of our council, I hereby award you with the Alliance Council Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Field of Science. Congratulations, Zeke. <laughs> Thanks. Some fights are over in a flash, and some are fought across a lifetime. Not all wars are fought on the battlefield. Very true. There stands among us a man who could tell us all about that. A war fought across a lifetime. Every day a struggle, and for all of his troubles, he was only, until just now, ever rewarded with more. Now he's so old, but maybe he can rest a bit in his retirement. This man will go down in the history books as a hero, as an inspiration. Whenever you're about to give up, I hope you will remember this man who never did. For the man who always believed in Sandrock, the Alliance Council would like to bestow upon Mr. Mort with the Free City's Lifetime Achievement oh, Award. Lifetime Achievement Awards. Mr. Mort, please join your son on the stage and accept your award. Thank you, sir. We have one more award to give out. One that we just nearly overlooked. Miss Mian, could you please come to the stage? It'll be something to do with her large donation to the school, probably. It'll be some kind of uh, philanthropy one, I guess. Thank you, everyone. I'm honored to be giving oh, up the Comer Scouts it out. Top Builder Award. It only seemed right that I nominate the person I thought best fit that description. The recipient of this award is not just a great builder, but a great friend to all the people of Sanra. To be fair, I've worked very hard on being a great friend to all the people of Sandrock. When I first met you, I said, Do you remember? I said, Let's make a promise, builder to builder. A promise to take Sandrock back to its glory days. Back then, I wasn't sure if I really believed we really could. Shoot for the moon, for if you miss, you may still land among the stars, as they say. But as time went on, and I saw you do these things, these incredible things, I wanted to follow your example and do my best to keep my promise to you. 
And what we've learned from this is that Mian is not very good at astrology. And because of your dedication, your hard no, work, astronomy. your incredible ability, your inspiring presence. She might be fantastic at horoscopes. <laughs> you kept that promise. Not for me, not for yourself, but for all of us. It is with great pleasure I inform you all that it's not just my opinion, but the opinion of the entire Free Cities Commerce Guild, that our Free Cities next top builder is none other than you! Hooray! Welcome to the club. It's my honor to share this stage with you. Congratulations! Ooh, looks good on you. Woo! <laughs> I love Parma. They're brilliant. It was this or your builder in Portia. No hard feelings, eh, old chap? I think Gustav is like... I don't know, talking to you some kind of voice box or something. None at all. All right. Take a bow, you three. One more round of applause for the heroes of Sandrock. Woo! I hereby conclude the summit's announcements. Now, let's go party! Let's go party! Over here! Can you sit with our guests for a bit? I've saved you a seat. Hello, and thank you all for coming. Let's celebrate to our heart's content for today. Tomorrow morning, we ride the airship. But for now, cheers to a new age for Sandrock. Let's dig in. After working together from afar for so long, it's nice to finally meet some of you face to face. I've been rooting for you all since the beginning and, well, it's wonderful to be able to see for myself what all you've been able to accomplish. The sun is shining, the weather is warm, and those flowers and grass are as far as the eye can see. I honestly can't wait to bring my daughter here to see these changes. I truly believe that Sandrock's back on the map. We have ginger here. And we truly need you guys. With the development of Portia and Sandrock, the center of the Alliance is no longer a weak spot. I second that notion. And may I also add that it's wonderful to see our two Highwinders here making such fantastic contributions to the process. Indeed, they are a living testament to the power of the free cities working together. But hey, when are you gonna give us our builder back, huh? <laughs> I kid, I kid. But dang, you guys sure did get the pick of the litter. Oh, but also, to show our support, I brought a few gifts, seeds and such, from our botany school to help out with your planting team. And, uh, you know, we're not exactly new to the planting game either, so we'd love to collab sometime. Oh, naturally. Oh, it's so nice to see her just be able to be like, ha 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 ha. She's worked so hard for it. I see what you did there. Oh, by the way, Mayor Trudy, I do hope you'll take into consideration my words Lovely. during the summit. The Duvos affair had quite an impact on our tentative peace treaty with them. Yes, I don't doubt that it did. Not to mention that horror news from Portia. What has become of your rogue knight anyhow, Gail? You know, the one that destroyed a quarter of your city with that doomsday device? She goes by Wendy now. Quaint. As for the rogue knight, He's disappeared without a trace. Right. We're working with the flying pigs to track him down. After the Porsche incident, we also did a full sweep of the military hierarchy, looking for any more Duvo spies. At least so far, we haven't found any. So there's a bit of a um, conspiracy theory, I suppose. One of the Sky Sharks from Porsche, although it's kind of hard to really tell because the graphics make it hard to to see like facial features very very clearly uh, but one of the sky sharks hat was a, a female with white hair and some people were wondering whether that might be logan's mother that's an interesting conspiracy theory isn't it 
Are there any indication that Duvos will expand their land grab of Athea? Will the Alliance react? My settlement plans will be in shambles if there's an actual shooting war. That is up to the Council to decide, but the guards stand ready to... <laughs> My fellow delegates, today is cause for celebration. Let's keep the mood light, shall we? Go on, Miguel. Of course, of course. It's the Siakmel milk. Got my mouth running. I'll have another glass to make amends then. Mayor Trudy, your town's band has quite a unique sound. It's a little country and a little rock. I can even hear some heavy metal vibes in there. Walnut Grove, massive uh, cultural hub. <laughs> That's our Kugo no. band. Cooper's a rancher and Hugo's a blacksmith here in town. Well, apparently he used to have bandmates in Walnut Grove. So interesting. Ahem. <clears throat> I didn't see our director, Chi. Pity he didn't attend. Though I'm not surprised. I heard he's here researching some spaceship ruins. It's the Starship Ruins, Administrator Curie. Your assumption is not unfounded, but your conclusion is misinformed. Don't be in the mobile. Oh, he's in the mobile suit. <laughs> he's learned to drive it finally. Or has he? Has he? <laughs> he made it moonwalk. Do a little jive. <sighs> a dancing robot. And it's not harming anyone. It doesn't have <laughs> laser beam eyes. They're playing critters. They're actually playing critters. Hilarious. Jewel of the Ufala mission start. Oh, there you are. Man, who's this here? Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Looks like they're both a chip out the old block. They both have your nose. Oh, are we keeping you? You should go chat with all your friends. I think that was meant to be about my kids. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Are my kids meant to be here? One of them's still inside me. <laughs> Mysterious man is here. Well, I'll take advantage of that. I've been around, seen things, experienced more. Nothing really surprises me anymore. But you all certainly did. So I tip my mask to you. Congrats on making Sandrock great again. <laughs> That's all I need from you, thank you. Coop. Hmm. Well, looks like things are about wrapping up around here. Yep, peace and prosperity throughout the land. A green sand rock. True jewel of the desert. Looks like my work here is done. You, on the other hand, you're just getting started. Sure, you took care of the lizard people, the mole men, the rat conspiracy, as well as the shadowy cabal that sought to devour us from within. Not bad for your first adventure. Reminds me of myself at your age. Of course, I might have handled it all with a bit more finesse, but it can't be ignored that you do bring that personal brand of moxie to the game that we have grown to know and adore. Anywho, there's still plenty of rogue factions still on the radar. The Moon Men, for example. They've been quiet this whole time. Too quiet. Too quiet. He's not wrong. There's still one fantastical foe to face on your grand adventure, and he's standing right in front of you. Keep listening. A bit of a backstory on the Moon Men. Just want to be sure you've got the motivation we can hardly declare war on a group of individuals if 
ain't properly identified our qualms with them and their ways of life and why they're bad. The moon, as we all know, is simply a projection, a, a hologram that comes from a machine built by the werewolf people. Remember this name, <laughs> although they won't be relevant again until the DLC, that stands for Delayed Till Later Conflict. And so there's going to be a Moon Man DLC, is there? Anyway, the Moon Men they lost their home in the Great Moon Wars thousands of years ago. Since then, they've been biding their time, gaining power by drinking lava inside the core of the planet. Yeah, they suck it up like milkshakes. At any moment, and I'm talking about literally any moment, I'm talking now. Okay, how about now or now? All right, so maybe not that. right this moment, but like I said, could literally be any moment. These moon men will burst out of the crust of our planet and begin laying waste to our prairies and fields, fondling our churches, burning our yagmo. Why would they fondle with a one church? One singular goal in mind: to turn our planet into the moon. That sounds interesting. Now, this goal—it's understandable to an extent. They're homesick, moonsick, if you will. Unfortunately. This puts us at irreparable odds and ends with the moon men, being that we humans prefer our planet not being the moon, so, uh, yeah. Like I said, one of us has got to die. I vote for them. Now, I reckon I'm not completely against the idea of some sort of compromise. Could we turn part of our planet into the moon? A little bit. Well, Sandbox Maybe wasn't carve far out off a little the island for them to live peacefully and do moon stuff. Just spitballing here. Uh, we don't have to go with this. It just came up with it. Moon Island? I mean, uh, we'd have to run it by the moon men, uh, check it for copyright, but uh, I don't know. Uh, workshop it. <laughs> uh, that's your thing, right? Uh, look. Just let it be known that we didn't not explore other options before resulting to all-out war. But, you know, failing that, like I said, all-out war! And you're gonna have to lead the charge. I would, of course, but, well, shucks. I, these days, I, I just got too much to live for. You have a wife and one child. I have a husband and three children. Just saying. Finally got this greener sand rock to raise my kin in. Working on a new nocturne today. A lot on the plate. You know how it is. Moon men weaknesses include fireballs, kung fu kicks, and I believe they're lactose intolerant, but granted that one is harder to work with. Yeah, it'd be better if they had some really, really uh, lethal allergy that you could work on. Lactose intolerance just gives them a sore tummy. I can try to help you out there, Anyone but help. no promises. It can't Extreme just is. be giving milk away, even if it is to combat intergalactic lava fiends posing a planetary threat. Gotta eat. Like I said, you know how it is. Uh, hey, well, uh, shoot. I kind of realize maybe I'm taking up a bit of your time. Yeah, um... You got a party to get back to, ain't you? <laughs> uh, well, I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Uh, tis my first offense, after all. I have had at least two stamina boosts from listening to rants like this. Plus the one you did with Fang. You know, most instances where some kind of event like this to take place, I'd probably make the comment that everyone involved is highly overrated regardless of whether or not I knew that to be true. But uh, seeing as I happen to know you personally and whatnot, I reckon, yeah, I reckon you're all right. I went through this whole game for you to tell me I'm all right. You should run for office. Any office. I'd vote for you. Vampires are real, though. Buying up real estate. Using the gift of eternal life to make explosive property value gains. It's enough to make you sick. Imagine 
being priced out of a home just because a vampire been sitting on it for <laughs> 600 years. Vampires and landlords. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I almost got myself riled up again. <laughs> oh, well, you have a good one. Don't be a stranger. Oh, and remember, if they let you pilot that thing, anytime you turn left up there, you have the right of way. Over who, Daisy Duck? Or is it the right? Uh, regardless, uh, perhaps the rules of the skies have changed since I was last up there. Uh, tell you what, you punch a hard left and the other fella up there doesn't get out of your way, I owe you a yakma milk. I'll even offer up to help pry you from the burning wreckage. <laughs> you know, if time permits. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, make sure you stock up on parachutes up there. Uh, folk will tell you those things are safer than automobiles. Well, I beg to differ. Uh, crashed far more airships than I did automobiles I did. Any vehicle for that matter. Uh, save for school buses. Uh, they're deceptive. You think you got the whole sky up there, then BAM! Giant duck cuts you off while you're adding marshmallows to what? your cocoa. Why are you Rear flying a plane? Knock your front bumper clean off. Adding marshmallows to your cocoa. Yeah, never get into a wreck with a giant duck, tell you what. <laughs> no insurance. You gotta chase them down, get them to land, then quack it out. Oh, and when they offer you one duck egg, tell them, make it three, then settle for two. Them ducks be haggling. haggling What's ducks. that look for? Come on, there's plenty more duck eggs where that one came from. They're practically made of the stuff. I gotta look out for me and mine. I suggest you do the same. I have plenty of eggs. My chickens lay loads of eggs. Anyway, I told you about that time I flipped the bus, huh? I did? Oh yeah, well, shucks, uh, I might be running out of stories. Uh, I told you about the moon men, right? Yeah, just now. And the vampires and the werewolves. Well, hmm, guess I'm at a loss for words. Get you? That's slang for see you later. Of course you know that. What am I saying? You're a true blue sand rocker at this point. Yep. Be seeing you then, which is to say, <laughs> goodbye. So long. And, uh, you know, do me a favor, will you? Really. Really. Really, really. Really. Take care of yourself. You have become more powerful than anyone could ever imagine. Stamina. That's five. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. I'm gonna chat with Andy. <laughs> I got older, I'm gonna go out adventuring, probably to the periphery, so I'm gonna find me some buddies and go all the way to the Great Bogonda. I'll be even more famous than Peach. Um, I do need to give you your birthday present, and I am gonna give the... Awesome! This is so cool! Professional sand fish trap that I made really awesome, and I will make myself another one. It's more important for Andy to be my friend than it is for me to have a, a sandfish trap. Um, I'll make another one. Yay! We did it! We did it. We got Andy to full marks. That's that's amazing. Let's have a chat to Luna. Hey! Everyone's talking about you at this party. They all say you're great. So you must be great. My next song is dedicated to you. Thanks, Luna into Pablo talking costume design aha uh -huh. so this is what one of the legendary blue moon parties really looks like hmm it's been how many years since the last one we kind of tried to do one like uh when Musa came to town but it kind of went a bit wrong just goes to show you darling just because it looks like people are having fun in pictures doesn't mean their lives are or were any better than yours mm. as soon as they finish taking those photos they probably just went right back to standing around like everyone is here. At least we have a band. Yes, I'm making the call. New Sandrock is officially better than old Sandrock. In every way imaginable. Anyone who disagrees is just being nostalgic. Or they really like sandstorms for some reason. 
Okay. I chat to Grace. Hmm. General Gen Ling just signed my death certificate not long ago, and we came face to face again. Awkward. Well, I think he understood right away, as after a brief moment of confusion, he gave me a wink and moved on. My secret seems safe enough for now. I guess it's easy to fade into the background with you at the party. They're tripping over each other to ask about all your achievements. Can't say I blame them. If I were them, I'd want to meet you too. Sure is strange, huh? You used to be that new builder in town, and I used to be that random girl who overcooks your omelets. And then, well, yeah, all of this. Don't Such get me wrong, story. I'll always have great admiration for everything you've accomplished here, but I just can't see you as a celebrity. To me, you'll always just be you. Hmm. Uh, looks like they need something over at table four. Catch you later. Let's have a chat to Heidi. Hey, thanks again for convincing me to invite Master Verna. I don't know why I was having such cold feet about it. Ooh. You know, I really feel like I should say thank you. I know I say that all the time whenever you help me out around town, but this time, I mean, thank you for everything. Master Verna could maybe use a bit more bedside manner, but she wasn't wrong. I don't think my dream of making Sandrock a better place for my friends and family to live ever would have had a ghost of a chance without you. Granted, I didn't really know what I was up against when I moved back here, but you made all the difference. So yeah, from me and on behalf of everyone in Sandra, thank you. Aww. Chi, you got any more to say? No. Nope. That dancing robot thing at the end, that was just perfect. Uh, almost brings a tear to my eye. Seeing the saloon like this... <laughs> Should I try out some new material in front of the delegates? <laughs> uh, no, no, I better stick to the classics. <gasps> I'll do the brave little bumble ant. That one always kills. Ah, I just kind of realized everything in this town has changed so much since you got here. But the blue moon has pretty much always been the same. Other than like fixing the stage back up, yeah. I should have commissioned more stuff. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's not too late or anything, just Katori got her own theme park, so <laughs> I feel kind of left out. Ah, uh, well, could have been worse. Besides, maybe it's a good thing. The blue moon was always here, exactly the way you remembered it. An anchor, a beacon of familiarity, where you could rest, relax, recharge, and get fired up to get back out there and build like no one's ever built before. Yeah, sometimes I think you need a place that doesn't change. That's my promise to you then. No matter where your adventures take you, you can always come back to the same old blue moon. I'll be right here waiting for you. Aww, that's lovely. Has Andy or Logan got anything more to say? No, and I think no, and Logan just wanted to reminisce about his pa. Justice, hmm. I'd say. This might be a fire code violation, but I think I can look the other way. Just this once. Man, what a ride, huh? I guess I just say that because, well, this is kind of it, isn't it? This is the part where we get to celebrate all we did. Get all our accolades, our attaboys, and pats on the back. Is it corny if I say... I was just doing my job, because I was kind of just doing my job. What are you telling them when they try to butter you up? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Okay, that works. Dang, mission accomplished. And I'm still looking at you for backup. I do gotta <laughs> say, though, while we're talking about it, you were the best Don Silver Corps officer we ever had. I'm serious. Lost count on how many times you saved me. Unsure? Everybody. So, uh, whatever they try to give me credit for, just know that your name is not going to be left out of the discussion. Wonderful. Okay, uh, Crystal? Hey, random thing. Thanks for getting rid of Yan. I know it comes up still from time to time, but I still think you never get enough credit for that. 
I don't want to bring down the vibe here or nothing, but man, I hated that guy. <laughs> yeah, because Rocky hated him. So you hated him. Very loyal wife. If I'm being honest, I do always keep an eye on that twin brother of his. I mean, sure, he seems nice. He's really done nothing at all that makes me suspect him of faking it in the slightest. But somewhere, deep down in there, he's got that evil gene slumbering, waiting for a chance to awaken. So I would assume I'm no doctor. Anyway, wicked party. I want to get on that airship, but I reckon you and the VIPs got first dibs. No worries. You all have fun up there. Nice. We already had a good chat to Cooper. Jasmine. Woohoo! Great party! Hey, remember when I offered you that guy I do. way back when? That was the only time I did that. My career as a tour guide was very short-lived. As are most of my careers around here. Except for Mail Lady. I always kind of felt like I needed to decide on what I should do with my life. When you have to start writing your age as double digits, it's a real wake-up call. But lately it hasn't <laughs> been bugging me too much. Watching you fix everyone's problems? I think nobody in town really knows what they're doing. They all just sort of figure it out by mucking through things and with help from friends. So, yeah. I'm just gonna do that. Try to have fun and hope for the best. And... Failing that. I'll just try to be good at everything. Like you! Sounds like a solid plan, Jasmine. Uh, so I've chatted to everybody on this side around here. I chatted to the... Are we gonna chat to all of the moles? Hey there, Builder. Me had asthma. Doctor Man with Burp gave me a inhaler. Now life much better. Oh, Gatsby got cured! Me got dream job. Move thing for Kugo Band. Rody is tour, actually going to go be a Rody. Stage again and again. Bring the stuff. One day, I play my song. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. Hey, hey, hey! I'm builder. I'm builder now. Uh, can make wood axe. You want? Can cut nothing. Nice. Wokey. Pancha Duvos, always okay. Uh, cheeky. Everybody here for you, huh? Me here for snacks. That's fair. Grumpy? Uh, me am only one not happy? Huh? Me am only one not happy? Everyone happy. Maybe Grumpy has problem. You're the only one not happy? Maybe you are the problem. Uh -huh. I managed to break up a fight between some moles. It's always the food that gets them talking again. Okay, so we've chatted to the mysterious man. Um, Pebbles, have we chatted to you? No. Okay. Can we chat to any of these you guys? You all have made rather impressive technological progress here in Sandrock. Perhaps we ought to do more exchanges, share our knowledge. Though, I'm not sure how Chi will take to that. He'll love sharing it, but he won't like having to explain it. I'm sorry you all had to be the side of a skirmish. As someone who's been through it, I know it can be hard. Lucian was where but the first Dubas water face, I believe. solace in the fact that you all handled yourselves brilliantly. Wow, so much cultural and entertainment output here. You sand rockers are really giving us a run for our money. So we already talked to Lunas. I'm just going to quickly go You've around the table. You've done us proud. When you make it back home, we'll do you a parade. We'll give you the key to the city. The whole sh shebang. We are quite proud that one of our builders has been your partner throughout all this. Oh yeah, me, I'm I hope you spy. were able to count on her. She certainly looks up to you, as do all the rest of us. Congratulations. I heard from Mayor Trudy that after you arrived in Sandrock, there were tremendous changes. As it happens, we have a builder in Portia with skills not unlike your own. Perhaps one day we can arrange a meeting of the minds. They can never meet. It would be a paradox. Sorry. Lusa. 
I actually do believe in fate. I believe opportunities arise as a result of what you do. For every action, reaction. Now, Werner. I can get... I'm gonna have to jump on the banquet table to do it. But... Gaudi. Congrats, Builder! Your achievements are truly amazing. As a fellow Builder, I wonder if I can send my apprentices to your workshop for some proper training. They're all dying for a chance to learn from a living legend. Be wary of basking in the soothing embrace of glory. We've won the battle, but the specter of conflict is still on the horizon. Nevertheless, Enjoy this moment. The Alliance thanks you for Have your you service. Haku could not sound more like a secret evil villain if he tried. Honestly. And let's have a chat to Trudy and Ling. I'm looking forward to our airship ride tomorrow morning. Me too. We'll never forget how surprised we were to find out that you held off the Dubos invasion for so long. Those guys made a big mistake in trying to knock over the most tenacious people in all the free cities. Okay, so we have chatted to everybody now. I'll just make sure I chatted to the mysterious man, but yeah, I did. It would be amazing if I opened up those relic bags and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, everyone's out here having a party as well. Oh. Recently, I've made some progress with my love life. In the end, my significant other didn't really care for what I wore. How about that? <laughs> did he get to go over with Sonya in the end? I wonder. Because there was a whole thing in Sandrock about asking Sonya if she cared about what he wore. So I wonder if that has become a bit canon now. Huh? No, nothing's wrong. I think I chatted to like a lot of the Sandrockers yesterday. Wow, I can't believe it's really almost over. I mean, not over over, but there's not much left for us to build in this town. We really did it. Remember when I told you I hoped we'd take Sandrock back to its glory days? Not to give myself too much credit, I mean, I think it's safe to say you were the star of the show. But I do want to say that I enjoyed being there with you, every step of the way. Well, don't let me keep you from the party. I'm sure everyone's dying to meet ya. Thanks, Mian. Let's talk to Nia next. You know, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but sometimes I feel like... You've become a different person altogether. I mean, in a good way. Like, we were just a couple of dumb kids, and now... Now we've got jobs and stuff. And you're a real professional. Best of the best! Do you ever feel... Feel like running into the forest and knocking over beehives anymore? Sometimes. I do. Maybe. I think I do. Maybe less than back then, but still, a little. <sighs> I guess we're both getting older, more mature. There are more important things than beehives. But even if things are a little different now, there's one thing I know will never change. You're always going to be my number one. That feeling hasn't changed a bit. Okay. And uh, Katori? Hmm. Standing around at this party kind of makes me realize you were the golden goose all along. Yeah, you're my lucky charm. I mean... Come on, try to explain it any other way. Everything really was going south for me all up until the moment you stepped off that train. My business was going under. Now I'm a regular tycoon. Well, just wanted to let you know that I appreciate everything. This is kind Not of advice Not just all you've from done Lord. for me, but for everyone in this town. You really are an inspiration. This is like me basically saying kind of goodbye to these characters. Uh, for now, I imagine, unless there's DLC, unless there's things that happen in the future to expand it out and I'll come back to it maybe for those things. This is probably going to be the last time I really interact with them. They've got, they've had their stories. Psst. Hey, what do you say we sneak out? Grab some itching powder? I've got this diagram for a stink bomb from another dimension. Ha, psych. Come on, that's the old me. 
The new me chatted up a couple of those stogy old coots and put in a good word for you. Of course, not like it was much of a challenge. Talking you up is like bragging water's wet. Now, while yes, I do occasionally have prankish desires, I'm able to channel them in healthier and more productive ways. Although, sometimes I still do play little tricks on those mean old kangaroo critters out in the desert. Anyways, reckon I'd still be a goofball if you ain't come around, so just thought it was worth bringing up. Aww. I think some of the people at this party love you as much as I do. That might be a problem. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Jane? No, we talked to Jane already, I think. And we talked to Mabel already. Oh, I talked to Albert. Dombi and Ryan. Um, Ryan. Ryan. Riri. Hey! Looks like everything is going off without a hitch. How'd you find our gifts? Everyone pitched in at least a little, right? That's why we Sand Rockers will always win. Because we stick together and help each other out. Sure, someone could have put the same level of effort into another part of the Alliance and arguably gotten further. But the people of Sand Rock, we just wanted it more. The bigger the challenge, the higher we'll rise to the occasion. I just want to say, you're pretty much the only person who's ever been able to live up to the hype. You know? Like, no one can dream too big when you're around. Knowing that anything is possible, oh, it just makes me so excited <laughs> to have my family here. Thank you. That was from someone who wanted to leave the town. Well, what has really got to say? <laughs> Guess what? I was wow. five minutes early for this party for the first time in my life. I know what it's like to be on time. Those five minutes before other people started showing up were brutal, though. I gotta say, I just kind of stood there, looked around a bit, said hi to one of the cats. But, uh, yeah, I think you definitely played a part in getting me to turn my life around. Well, maybe turn around is a bit of an overstatement, but I went from being a block of wood to a unoffensively average member of society. Well, that is still gross. Big ups. So I want you to know that whenever I leave the window open and the breeze gently creeps in to whistle across my carpentry, I always hear your name whispering through the knot holes. She Don't tell me that was another Simpsons reference. The plum, the plum in the perfume was a Simpsons reference. I saw Rocky sneaking away down here. And I want to see if he's got anything to say to me. I'm guessing he was heading up to the uh, salvage yard. Everybody else is sat in the same place, but Yo, no, Rocky. Pretty crazy, huh? We didn't exactly get off on the right foot. I think the first time we met, I was yelling old Yan up the wall. Thanks for giving me another Something chance. Something about a turtle. I'm a lot less mad about stuff these days, you know? The art therapy helped, but, uh... Main fact, it was definitely kicking that sorry mop stick out of town, huh? Sorry? Not sorry? I mean, I gotta admit how I really feel. That's what they tell me. Anyway, it's been a pleasure to know you. Honor and a privilege and all that. There's a lot of stuff that brings people down in this world, but, uh... People like you... You fill us with hope, you know? So, keep doing what you're doing. It means a lot to everyone. So I See hope you. that I'm catching everybody here, because I really do want to... Like I say, this episode is saying my goodbyes to a lot of these characters now. So I feel like they all deserve... They all deserve that little bit of time. So we've got... Most of them are sat down. Let's have a chat to Birchy Boy. Oh, oh, this is quite the shindig, eh? And the water is flowing like wine. Okay, are you ready for this one? This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing okay. that's about to happen, okay? I'm ready to let loose like never before. All right? Ready? Okay, here we go. He's going to drink a glass of water. Ahem! Don't conserve water. Drink as much as you want. Go crazy. Oh, you know, 
Actually, it sounds bad. Uh, let's try again. Walk that back a little. Ahem? Conserve water a little. Drink a little bit more than you would normally. Just don't spill. Uh, much better. <laughs> Okay, and we already had a chat to Jensen, so I don't think he's got anything to say more. Okay. Hey, Mint? if you ever get the chance, it would be nice to have you visit Portia. It's a lovely place. Maybe I should play Portia again. <laughs> My sister is really pleasantly surprised by Sandrock. She'd heard some rumors, some of which were written by me. <laughs> but in my defense, I wrote letters to her containing less than the highest of praises only because you just gotten started on your journey to rebuild this town at this point if anyone who prints a single word dissing sandrock well i hope their editor gives them a serious talking to my only regret in being here to see you revitalize sandrock is that i fear my hand will never pen such poetry that is you striking with a pick hammer but of course that'll never stop me from trying Unsure. Unsure might have something funny to say. Hmm. We've already spoken to Justice. Something about this party. Everything feels very final. The sense of looming dread is not something I normally get at the Blue Moon. Especially since Grace got a lot better at cooking. Why does it feel like everything is about to end? I'm too young for this. He feels like he's about to die or something. Oh no. Hmm. Well, I guess I better tell you. In case I don't get the chance. You're the best. Not the best at something, or one of the best somethings, just the best. The best. No notes. Well, I'm going to see if I can't deal with this weird feeling by patrolling over to the snack table. Hope you're having more fun than I am here. Ugh, I should have brought Wilson. Wilson would have calmed you down. Absolutely. So, we've got Faye and Peck over there. Um, so here we have Mort... Z, Kamira, Arvio, and Fang. And X. I wonder if I could talk to X. Yeah. It was X all along, it was him. That bird is crazy. We did have a chat to Fang already. Kamira. Everything's changed so much since you've arrived. For the better, of course. I guess seeing all these important people here to congratulate us, it certainly is a new era for this town. Don't let all this praise and attention change you. Not that I think it would. Just keep being you. I would ask that you promise me that. Because that you is the most wonderful person I've ever met. Congratulations again on all your success. Sorry, I cut her off there. Wow, this celebration is amazing. Hey. This is just like one of those old pictures of a home when this town used to be lively and... Wait a second. Did you bring back the glory days of Sandrock? <laughs> I can imagine in another 50 years there will be a picture of this party on the wall somewhere. I guess I'd like to congratulate you. I hope that my actions help more than harmed along the way. But to think, I was here to witness this. Okay. Then let's have a chat some more. There will be times when the wind and the waves will be braved. And when the cloud sails will be lifted, the sea will be shaken. Some ships sink only leagues from the shore. But thousands of vessels should one day sail to and from for the wreckage. Flowers wilt, but new buds bloom just behind them. It has been my honor to sink so that others could swim. In my honour to sink so that others could swim. And we already spoke to Zeke, I think. So yeah, we ended with Mort, which I think is actually kind of beautiful. We somehow got through Cooper's final rant. And golly gosh, it is super, super early in the day still. I don't know if anything else is going to be happening today. I will have a quick look. They said that at 12 there would be something. Um, so we're on day two. Oh, the Quiquenial Banquet is at 12 p.m. 
which is this one out here, I think. Enjoy the party and wait for tomorrow. So I think we have chatted to everybody and enjoyed the party. The only thing is, did I chat to my Ma and Pa? I will just double check that I have. And if that's the case, I'm going to do something very unusual and I will just wait until tomorrow for the airship to go. Ma and Pa. My baby's all grown up. And you're a really great builder. So proud of you. Look at you. All grown up, dependable. I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> okay, so I think we've talked to everybody at the table. We've talked to everybody on this side. We've talked to all of the moles. We've talked to the mysterious man. We've talked to Ma and Pa. We've talked to everybody at the banqueting tables. I will take a look and see if there's anybody just randomly wandering around town that I may not have spoken to. Let's give it a second. Sandy Camel is there. We've got, uh, some of the pets are around. But no, I feel I feel like that is pretty much going to be everything we need to do today. Enjoy the party and wait for tomorrow. So we've like talked to everybody. Got these random oh. people. Checking out all the speeches. Mayor Trudy's really killing it out here. But yeah, I feel... I feel like it's probably time for me to go to bed. And it's nearly an hour long episode already. And it's only... It's only been like a few hours in game. I might also take my skill point. Which is a social one. Surprise, surprise. Um, I really don't care what I take at this point. It's not going to make a big difference. Okay, so I think it is time to head in and head to bed. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I've spoken to every single person in town. Um, other than maybe give a present to my pets. That might be just a thing to quickly do. I know, I probably shouldn't have given you that again, but... Coco is sleeping. And Coco, I'm going to see if I've got any chestnut seeds for you, because apparently you like them better. of about the same but they are a good alternative for when they start getting not as good all right so tomorrow is Arvio's birthday <laughs> we've got the sand sledding coming up the tour de rock i don't know whether we'll take part in that or not we might do if that comes along um i am pretty much waiting for uh, I think my child's birth might be now at this point overdue. Birth of baby number two. Not sure when that is going to happen. It's going to have to happen soon, I think. But that's going to be the end of the episode. Because I think all we had to do today was enjoy the party and wait for tomorrow. And um, day two was finished at 12pm. So we've got the inaugural airship flight tomorrow. Plus any other bits and bobs. This feels so weird going to bed at this time. But I don't really want to just do like a load of sand fishing or something like that. Just to finish the day off or whatever. Maybe Buddy could get a present though. You're one of the only people left that, that requires a present now. Because now even... <laughs> even Deputy Captain is like good friends with us. I don't know if I gave Deputy Captain a, a present today. But Deputy Captain... We did manage to get to BFFs with, and I will make sure I give him a present tomorrow. I haven't given him a present. <laughs> do I go out and do that? No, I'm going to end the episode. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did then please do give me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, 
Please look after yourself. Really? Please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.